Hello Unlimited Friends, it's Zara back again with Q&A about the Law of Attraction and its application to our lives. This question was submitted by Mona and she says, I know a person who says always negative things about people he knows. Whenever we talk, he says his this friend is selfish, his that friend is selfish, this person is not good, that person is not good. Many times he says everybody is bad. He says the same thing for all his cousins. Whenever I meet, I don't feel that good vibes from him. He doesn't seem to be good on the emotional scale. But then he is wealthy, prosperous, has a good family life. His children are doing well. This contradicts with law of attraction is that everything in his life is good because maybe he has good karma in his past life or he says such negative words all the time but doesn't mean it. Ooh, Mona, I love this question. Thank you so much for sending it in. And before I respond in detail, let me do a short introduction. For those of you who are new here, hi, welcome. I'm Zara Mahoon. I write the blog zmahoon.com. I'm also the author of 15, maybe 16 books on various aspects of the law of attraction. I offer lots of courses and group as well as individual coaching and you can check out all my programs on my website zimahoon.com. Also, you can submit your questions. If you have a question about Law of Attraction, you can send it to me through my website or comment on the video below. Okay, Mona, fantastic observation. So I want to tell you, first of all, that it's not about words. Law of Attraction does not respond to people's words. Law of Attraction responds to people's vibration. Words don't count. Words mean nothing. Because you can same, say the same word with love and you can say the same word with anger. I can say, I love you so much and I can say I love you so much you don't understand you see words don't matter it's the vibration that you are on the universe does not respond to your words if you could just understand this one thing then understanding law of attraction would become so much easier for you law of attraction is responding to your vibration. People can use words that they think other people want to hear, but that doesn't mean that they are vibrating at that place on the emotional scale. And furthermore, you can never know where someone is vibrating. You can make a good enough guess, but you can never know where someone is vibrating. You do not know what's going on in their hearts. So that's number one. Number two, some people use a process of going up the emotional scale that involves bringing other people down. That's number two. Because Blaming other people, having vengeful thoughts, feeling angry is all part of going up the emotional scale. And so these are just things that he could do all in his head. He's just doing them out aloud. Some people have to do it out aloud just because they're used to doing it that way. And it helps them go up the emotional scale. They don't care if you're coming down the emotional scale because it's not his job to protect your vibration. It's your job to protect your vibration. I'm reminded of uh, when Donald Trump was the president of the United States. He would say something about someone and by saying that thing, he would go up the emotional scale and everyone around him would come down the emotional scale. It didn't affect him. And that is a very good thing. So it's just your, this person that you know, it's just his process for going up the emotional scale. 
he feels better and he goes up the emotional scale. Now, the last thing that I want you to know, and this is extremely important for you to know, is that manifestations are the only test. They are the only way that you can know how a person vibrates, how they think their thoughts internally, not what is coming out of their mouths. What is coming out of their mouths is not necessarily what they're thinking. I've been there myself because there was a time when, you know, um, I was in a situation dealing with other people that I would say things to them that I didn't agree with. And in my heart, I would be thinking, I could kill you just now. But the words coming out of my mouth would be, yes, yes, you're right. So, you see, words are not where you vibrate. And manifestations are the litmus test. They are the final measure of how good a job someone is doing with thinking their thoughts and vibrating in a manner that the universe can respond to their desires in a positive way. And therefore, you should pay attention to every single thought you think. I wrote a book called um, How to Pray So That God Listens. And in that book, the opening line is, every single thought is a prayer. Because the universe is listening to every vibration, even when you don't put any words to it. And this is the very reason why little babies can attract good and bad things. Because little babies are not using words, but they are vibrating. They have feelings and they are vibrating. And they are absorbing the vibration of people around them. They are, they know where their parents are on the emotional scale. They don't know what caused them to be where they are on the emotional scale. But babies know where their parents are on the emotional scale. And they respond to it. They can decide to disregard it and still be happy. Or they can decide to become a sponge and absorb it. So learn to be a duck. And let everything fall off your feathers. No need to be a sponge and absorb everything. Hello, unlimited friends. So yesterday I forgot to mention one thing. In addition to all the other stuff that I talked about in response to Mona's question. And that one thing is that our expectation of someone's behavior will always get us that same behavior again and, and again and again. So Mona, if you believe that this person is negative and always says negative things, then you will only see him acting that way. He might be the most positive person in the entire world as far as everyone else is concerned, but he cannot be positive in your presence because you believe him to be negative. So if you went and you asked other people, they might say, what are you talking about? He's a sweetheart, always has lovely things to say about everyone. And then you'll be like, really? He's never like that in front of me. And that is because each one of us calls forth from the other person the behavior that we get from them. And last of all, the thing to ask yourself, Mona, is, where do you think you are on the emotional scale that gets you that behavior, an exhibition of that behavior? You see, because he's not causing you to go down the emotional scale. You're already going down the emotional scale and then meeting him right there. And my guess is that your expectation that he is negative brings you down the emotional scale. It's like, Going So let's say you're going to a party and you know that he's going to be there. Your thoughts are, oh no, I'm going to come across him and he's always so negative. I really don't want to see him there. I hope he doesn't come. 
And by saying those things, first of all, you're making sure that he will come. And secondly, that when he does come, that he's going to be negative because you are the one who has put that out there. And so now the law of attraction will respond to the thoughts you're thinking. All right, so I'm just going to add this on to the video that I recorded yesterday and squish it all together to put it on YouTube. I'm going to end by saying, guys, please like, subscribe, do all those things that YouTube likes so that um, so that this message can reach more people and if you know someone that you think this video will help do go ahead and share this video with them if you're a member of a forum on uh, on facebook then go ahead and share it on facebook so that people can really learn um, what law of attraction is all about thank you again for being here Love the questions and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.